I came across a post on Instagram that honestly gave me reason to pause. This post has garnered hundreds of thousands of likes and views and was entitled, A Baby Was Born Already Pregnant With Her Own Twin Growing Inside Her Abdomen. Not only is this incredible, and as you can see, that belly of this baby looks quite large, but how did I not hear about this? One would have thought if there was a baby that was born pregnant with their own twin, that that would be something that might hit the mainstream media, but it didn't. Looking into this a little further, there's a good reason why it hasn't hit the mainstream media. The reason is, this is a Chinese case report from 2015. Now, I'm well aware that when you're searching for content, it can't always be easy to find current stuff, so it's okay to go back in the past, but with the way this is blowing up on social media, you would think that this is a current news story, but again, it's not. But let's talk about what happened. When a mother was 37 weeks gestation, she had a routine ultrasound. The ultrasound, which was done in mainland China, revealed something strange in between the left kidney and the spleen. After the infant was born at 40 weeks, doctors decided to do further imaging, and that's precisely what this is. These images show bony abnormalities in this mass. You can see that the black arrow is pointing to what actually looks like a spine. What's really interesting about this case is that although this is blowing up on social media as a case of a twin that was found inside another baby, there were actually two sets of spines in this particular pregnancy within the twin that was born. Therefore, in essence, this was a triplet pregnancy, and what you have here is, yes, another case of fetus in fetu. What's unusual, though, is that the fetuses in this case were within the retroperitoneal space in between the kidney and the spleen, and in fact, there were two 10-week fetuses that had stopped growth. This is the specimen that was taken out at day 14, the specimen is unusual in that you can actually see not just the spines that are pointed to with the white arrows, but if you look carefully at the bigger image, the umbilical cords were intact. As with all of these stories, you'll be happy to know what the outcome was. Surgery, as I mentioned, was done at 14. They were able to remove the entire fetus in fetu. And I'm happy to tell you, this baby went home post-operative day 22.